need to set goals. And I don't want these like pie in the sky goals, the goals like, I wanna have the best year of my life, or my goal is to get focused in 2018. This is the year that you actually make real goals based on what you want to earn this year. So how do you do that? Whether you believe in resolutions or not, we all believe in setting goals and the importance, uh, the importance of that. So whatever your goal is, when you, when you look at 2019, you, you need to set short bursts of attaining those, mm -hmm. and you need to figure out like 90 day short burst, and then you need to figure out what you have to become to walk into that goal, mm -hmm. right? Because it's never about the goal, it's about who you become in the process. Yep. And if you start concentrating on the who you become in the process, the goal is a byproduct. Mm -hmm. But I want you to think about this idea, the simplicity, the clarity, and breaking your life down into these four areas. Your body, your relationships, your mind, and your business. And the way we look at that is life goals, L being love, relationships, I being influence, which is the mind, F being finance, which is insurance, for us, but it's business, and E, energy being the body. But the key of this whole thing is the accountability aspect of it. So how are you being held accountable to the goals that you have in each of those areas? How are you being held accountable, uh, accountable for the goals that you have in your life? Because without that accountability piece, then the goals are meaningless. You know, what do you want? What do you want? It's the, it's the most difficult question you could ever answer in your life. Right. But you'll hear someone and they'll say, I want to be financially free. And I'm like, yeah. awesome. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? What does that mean to you? Yeah. Um, well, totally it, means, relative. it means that I'm not, you know, I'm no longer controlled by debt. Also awesome. What does that look like? Like, what does that look like not being controlled by debt? Well, if I'm not controlled by debt, then, then that means, and then you go down this rabbit hole and then all of a sudden, 18 questions of what does that look like and why later you realize that this lady, she just wants to be able to pick up her kids from school at the end of the day, wants to make a hundred grand because with a hundred grand, she'll be able to take six weeks, six weeks off of vacation. She'll be able to visit her parents in Colorado twice a year. She'll be able to do this, this, and this. She'll be able to like, and then you're getting specific. It's like, Oh, got it. Like now I know exactly what you want. Like I know the lifestyle yep. that you want to create because before you just said you want to be financially free and I have no earthly idea what that means, but you can break it down into real math and what you need to do every single quarter, what you need to do every single month and what you need to do every single week in order to reach that goal if you just got started don't say you want to make 800 grand do the math on it and figure out what that actually means for you to make that but put those goals down specifically and put that number every single where you look on a daily basis put it on your mirror in the bathroom put it on your your window in your car put it on the wallpaper on your phone and look at it over and over and over and over and over and over and over.